Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Something a little different today from the usual projects we take on here at the workshop, certainly something lesser in scale, but perhaps greater in meaning. We've been contacted by an artist and photographer, Barbara Mills, who's come to us with a clay model that her mother made before she passed away. Naturally, this has a sentimental value as one of her mother's creations, but sadly, the unfinished clay, which hasn't been fired in a kiln or varnished in any way, is beginning to dry out and break down. A little bit of a backstory behind the model, as this certainly has a story to tell. This was created by Barbara's mother, Annelise, who was born in Essen, Germany, in 1934. After begging her parents to go to an art school, this head was one of the few clay models that she made some years later. Upon marrying a British man, the translator that was required for the marriage actually asked for one of her clay sculptures instead of payment, so who knows, perhaps that one is still out there somewhere. This clay head has survived an emigration from Germany sometime way back in the middle of the last century, several house moves, but unfortunately, central heating has been its nemesis, and Barbara has got in contact with us. As a last resort, we've been asked if we can reproduce her mother's piece in glass fibre to preserve her creation. This needs to be treated super delicately to save any more clay pieces from crumbling away as we prepare the model to take a mould. Aidan's going over gently in a silicon rubber to softly get into all of the detail and gradually work up in a few thicker layers. A layer of plaster is then added on top of the rubber in order to add a solid jacket to the mould and then the piece needs to be carefully turned over. There are a couple of areas that need to be patched in a little where the material has completely broken away over time, a couple of voids and a few cracks, but the majority of the work and the essence has remained intact where it matters. You can see how the silicon rubber gets into all of the detail on its first liquid layer, perhaps a little too much as you often need to pick out the clay or pick out the rubber in order to clean up the mould. Once the first half is made and the model is flipped, some release agents are being added to help save the rubber from sticking too much to the model and the other side of the mould. When both halves are complete, this is going to be separated and the model removed from the inside. Unfortunately, a clay master pattern is unlikely to survive at the best of times, let alone when it's crumbling to pieces, but at least we know that the shape itself is technically going to survive from this whole process. This is one of those projects where there's not really much artistic input going in from us, apart from perhaps the paint finish, and there's not even much going in from the client in this case. I suppose you could call this not so much a restoration, but more of a preservation piece. You guys know that we usually opt towards the big, the bold and the fun objects, but at least you can see we've got a softer side as well. Aiden's going into the mould with a gel coat of resin, and then backing this up with glass fibre. The casts need to be trimmed once they're extracted, and then joined together on the inside using more glass fibre. The outside seam line is then filled with car body fillers and cleaned up so the sculpture looks as though it's one solid piece. Aidan's then starting the artwork by giving this a black, water-based emulsion layer, before going over with a bronze dry brush technique, and this gives the sculpture a little antique weight. It's then being mounted on a wooden base to allow Barbara to place it somewhere appropriate at home. Here we have a piece of sculpture, which is now complete. Uh, this is Barbara's mother made this, or the original at least and it was falling to pieces in clay and all wrapped up and we had to look after it the best we can. Took a silicon two-part jacket mould, nice bit of beige on the bottom there. And there it is, nicely finished. I hope you like it, Barbara. Well, I know you do because it's uh, very personal to you. Uh, in fiberglass with a bronze effect. So, here it is. you guys at home all enjoyed a smaller, slowed down and more sentimental project today, and what is art if not something personal and thought provoking? 
please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below and for all of our true diehard fans out there you can now become a patron of our studio. All of our supporter contributions go toward the creation of these videos, so if you guys enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.